renewable resources, they're all around us. And through permaculture, we learn to cycle them again and again. My name is Katrina and welcome to Edible Trails Garden. This is our fifth episode in our permaculture principles series. Use and value renewable resources and services. And today we are brewing up some compost tea, a living fertilizer. But stay tuned to find out how we're gonna supercharge it. One of the best renewable plants you can have in your garden is comfrey. I'm pulling this comfrey from my mother's garden that I tend to because its deep roots mine minerals like potassium, nitrogen, and calcium, storing them right in the leaves. Today we're going to explore how to use it in the garden, but it has a lot of medicinal benefits. One of my favorite places to learn how to use plants medicinally is Beauty Herbs and Tea. I'll leave her link in the comments and in the description. By reusing and regenerating it, we're tapping into nature's renewable resource. So I make sure to propagate it all around my forest garden to keep it going strong. After planting the roots, I add the leaves to a bucket with some water to make a natural comfrey fertilizer. Making a liquid fertilizer like this helps the nutrients become more immediately available to the plants compared to just mulching the leaves. It delivers a quick boost to fruiting and flowering plants while supporting strong, balanced soil life. So after sitting for about four weeks, it transforms into a nutrient-rich compost tea. And this is the perfect way to supercharge the garden. This is what principle number five is all about, using and valuing renewable resources. By regenerating plants like comfrey, we're working with nature's systems instead of against them. Next, let's talk about one of the best natural fertilizers you can make right at home, compost tea. The only thing that you need are some good aged compost, a mesh bag or a pouch, a bucket, and water. Rain water if you can. By soaking the compost, you extract beneficial microbes and nutrients into the water, creating a living brew that feeds both plants and soil life beneath them. Compost tea is really simple. Compost plus water. It'll create a living liquid fertilizer that feeds plants and soil microbes. There are many different methods to create compost tea. You can do a quick soak, which is more of a passive method. You can use molasses with the bubbler, or you can use a blend of nutrient dense plants to make a custom brew. I personally, I like the passive method. I am now just gonna let this sit for 24 to 48 hours, but we are gonna supercharge it coming soon. Ooh. 
The smell of this comfrey tea takes me back to being in Tanzania at the Serengeti National Park, visiting the hippos early in the morning before our safari. But if the plants love it as much as the flies, my garden is in for a treat. Now that our compost tea is ready, we're gonna mix that with our comfrey that has been brewing for a couple of weeks. This is gonna take that microbial life and that nutrient and the nutrient powerhouse that will create amazing fertilizer for our forest garden. Let's do it. I don't have a filter, so we're just going to wing it <laughs> and try not to get any on us. The compost tea combined with our comfrey create the perfect renewable resource blend. Now we'll take this, this blend, and we will add it to our watering can. So we filled this about a fourth of the way full with our mixture here. Now we're gonna to top it off with some water. Rainwater is preferred. Make sure that you check out the Permaculture Trail book for more ways to track renewable resources. There are a lot of ways to use and value renewable resources and services. So the prompt that I've included for principle number five is how can I design a more self-regulating system? So when we talk about using renewable resources, it's not just about compost. It's about letting nature do what it does best. Plants that feed the soil, pollinators that keep the system alive, rain that waters for free, the list goes on. The more we rely on these natural cycles, the less we depend on outside inputs and the more resilient our food forest becomes. That's the beauty of this principle. Nature already has the plan. We just need to join in. And until next time, thanks for watching. Let's grow.